Hi everyone, this is Chandresh Mahajan and uh, I was getting a lot of requests to make a video on how to give mocks, how to analyze your mocks. So I came up with this one and sorry for the delay, it got a bit delayed. Uh, but anyway, let's begin. Well, it's October already and uh, now most of you have started thinking about mock test so how to give your mocks how to analyze your mocks uh, how to how to improve in your mocks so in this video i will be covering all those topics so the very first thing that i am going to uh, talk about is the difference between the two uh, tests that you see in your test series one of them is subject test and, and another is full length test these two are the major divisions so what's the uh, difference between these two tests actually is that in subject test there are a lot of questions on uh, a single topic or a single subject of difficulty level which is varying uh, uh, to a great extent so these questions are not there to improve your time management these are just there to improve your concept there are some concepts that you might not know there are some concepts that you need to improve upon so these questions are there on these subject tests are there only for that purpose but the purpose of full length test is a bigger purpose they are they are uh, helpful in improving your time management skill which is a very very essential tool when you want to uh, get a good score as i told you earlier as you keep on solving questions and whatever things that are uh, that you learn from that question write that somewhere write that learning make the notes of the learning as i told in my earlier video as well because as the time uh, proceeds you might forget some of the uh, concepts so it is a very essential thing to keep that in written so that you can revise them in the later part of your preparation by the end of January and uh, beginning of February so the ideal time to start taking full length tests is October how many months you have October November December and January four months suppose you have enrolled for two test series so there are 20 tests that you have and the amount of time that you have in your hand is four months so ideally if you divide the uh, number of mocks that you have with the total months that you have you should give five full length mocks every month but in the beginning like in the month of October I would not tell you to give five full length tests in a month because it is the beginning of your of your uh, that mocks part of your journey you will not be having that feeling of giving mocks because you think that you have not completed your syllabus yet so though giving full length tests is important getting into the habit of sitting for three hours is important learning how to manage your time is important but in the beginning part of the preparation of that uh, sorry not preparation of uh, giving mocks you should be giving uh, mocks in a less frequency and once you feel that you have completed the syllabus you can start giving mocks in a more frequent way so how to start giving mocks the first few mocks that you give should be previous year gate question papers because the full length test in the mock test uh, series of uh, different uh, institutes is uh, is very difficult than the actual gate that uh, the difficulty level of questions is not at par with gate so you might feel disappointed in the beginning which is not a good thing so start by taking full length test of previous year gate papers choose any uh, gate paper uh, in, in of, of recent year of last six seven years it will help you in getting a momentum in feeling a bit comfortable with mock test and then from november onwards you can start taking the test of uh, your test series of uh, whatever test series that you have taken so how to divide the time uh, in the different mocks look suppose you have 20 full length test so as i told that in the month of october you have to give full length test but those full length tests should be your previous year gate papers from the month of november start taking test of uh, the test series that you have taken so in the month of November give 4 test, give 4 full length test. In the month of December give 6, in the month of January give 10. So total, total in overall you have covered 20 full length tests in this manner. There will be some uh, chances that you will miss 
some of the tests it is easy to say that give 10 tests in a month but I'm uh, I'll explain in the later part of the video that it is not only giving tests which matters there are many things which are uh, lying around this this system of giving test so it is not very easy to efficiently give 10 tests in a month so there will be some tests that will uh, remain un unattended so you can give those mocks in the, the time of February that you have some of you will be having get in the uh, first week so they might not give so they should try to complete the test in the month of before the month of January also but those who have the time of February of uh, starting few days can give one or two mocks in February also now as you will start taking mocks you will be wondering how to start your exam should I attempt one mark question first or two marks question first or which section to target first? Trust me, there is no particular answer to this question. Discover what works for you. That is why the full length tests are. You can try different types of strategies. You can go for one mark question first, two marks question first and see what is working for you. So there is no particular answer to this question that follow this method and you will get a uh, uh, rank in top 50 or top 10. There is no, no formula, no particular method for this. Find out what works best for you. Merely giving mocks is not the solution. If you want to improve, you should analyze your mocks as well and analyzing is as important as giving mocks. There is no point in in doing mistakes if you do not learn from those mistakes so suppose you are investing your three hours in taking a mock invest five hours in analyzing your mocks see which section you are lagging in which section you think you have you need to build more concepts in which in which section you are doing silly mistakes which part of the syllabus has been uh, untouched by you these are all the questions that you need that these are all the questions that you need to answer by analyzing your mocks so it is very important do not think that that just giving mocks is going to help you improve you must recognize that what is the purpose of full length test because when you will start taking full length tests you will see that uh, few of you might not might not get a very good rank in the beginning but do not worry about it the purpose of full length test is not to get a good rank i have heard this from most of the people around that in the full length test will let you know where you stand in the crowd where you stand uh, in the country but in my opinion it is not the point of giving full length test many students who were getting very good ranks in all uh, all india ranks in the mocks could not score well in gate but there are students who could not, who, who were just average in their mock test and they scored brilliantly in gate. So in my opinion, it is not a parameter to judge or to gauge where you stand uh, in the uh, national perspective, in the national competition. The purpose of full length test is to improve your time management skill. You cannot, look, you cannot target to get an All India Rank 1 because you getting an All India Rank 1 depends upon how the other uh, aspirants performed and it is not under your control I cannot control how uh, the other 1.5 lakhs 1.75 lakhs aspirants are going to perform an exam that is not in my control so how should I expect a rank how should I target a rank should I not target marks because that is what uh, is in my control I can target that yes in mocks I have to get more than 70 marks more than 75 marks more than 80 marks that is up to you what target you set for yourself that is a target that you can achieve it's in your control but targeting a rank is not in your control so do not be uh, hopeless when you get a bad rank in mocks because you cannot control it just improve your marks focus on your marks how to get more and more marks this if if your strategy would be this trust me you will improve brilliantly in your mocks but if you will be uh, keeping in mind that this is the rank that I am getting I am not getting good rank and you will be keep always uh, feeling bad about it you will not improve this is not the purpose of full length test do not take it uh, to gauge your uh, where you stand in the country there is no use of it you can improve where you stand by targeting the marks so please do not focus on ranks in full length test full length mocks 
focus on your marks set a benchmark that i am going to score more than this and ensure that you get a score more than this this way it will be a really fun process and you will really improve along the way you will not feel depressed by getting a bad rank and you will not be extra elated if you get a good rank these fluctuations these emotional fluctuations are not very good for your preparation so the very first thing that you should keep in mind beforehand uh, taking mocks is that my purpose is not to get a good rank my purpose is to get a good score to improve my score okay try to be your best try to reach your maximum and you will see that the maximum level that you can get up to is a very good level there is one more thing that you will observe as you will reach those who have started taking mocks in the month of uh, october and precisely uh, november you will see that your ranks will start falling a bit in the month of january and it is very obvious why because more and more people will get serious about mocks as the january approaches so they will start taking mocks few of them will be getting a better rank than you so your rank might fall so as i said it does not tell that you are degrading your performance is degrading it means that other people are scoring better than you so some people start thinking that their performance is uh, getting bad and bad day by day and they are not improving so this is not true so be very clear in your vision what is the purpose of taking mocks and just forget everything the type and the difficulty level of the question that you will be seeing in your mock test will be very different from the type of questions that are being asked in gate and the type of difficulty level of the questions in of gate i don't know why most of the test series in the market today are focused on providing you with difficult and difficult questions although there is only some percentage of questions in gate which are difficult most of the questions are of moderate difficulty level and uh, a few are easier ones so there is also a very high possibility that you will feel demoralized or frustrated by seeing the type of questions that uh, to solve in your test series so do not feel bad about it everyone is frustrated about it everyone is feeling that the questions these questions are irrelevant so do not waste your time complaining about them i heard a lot of students who just keep complaining Uh, that the questions are not up to that level what to do do not complain about it your purpose is to improve your purpose is to manage your time do not expect very good questions in your uh, in in the mocks as i said if you want to practice good questions give subject test or take some question bank and solve questions do not expect good questions in mocks it's it's a rare thing in a market right now If there are any more questions that you uh, have in your mind you can drop your comments below and I'll answer those questions so good luck all the best prepare well